Hi, how's it going? So, it looks like I just got out of the shower because I did just get out of the shower and I know that's a little bit strange to start out the video like that, but just g give me a second to explain. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I have been done with chemo for one whole year and I want to show you what my hair looks like now, or kind of like a montage of what my hair has looked like. And so I'm gonna show you all of that, but the reason that I'm starting now, right after getting out of the shower, is because when my hair dries, it gets curly, and when it gets curly, you can't really tell how long it is. So I'm doing this so I can like kind of brush it out so you can kind of get a sense for actually how long it is, and you can already tell like it's starting to curl, um, but yes, this this is how long my hair is. I don't know how to comb this because usually what I do is I don't comb it and I just kind of let it do its thing and then it curls up. Yep, it's hair. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I just want you to know you should not compare yourself to me and you should not compare yourself to anyone else. Um, I've kind of gotten a little upset sometimes because um, there are people that I know from Instagram and stuff that have finished chemo after me and maybe their hair has grown more than mine or maybe it looks like it's grown more than mine. And so it kind of makes me sad. I'm like, how come my hair's not growing that much? And it's because everybody's different. Everyone's hair starts growing again at different rates. I started on a targeted therapy and things kind of slowed down a little bit. My leg hair and stuff, it's not growing really as fast as it used to, which is why I know my head hair isn't going to be growing as fast as it used to. So I can't compare myself to other people that, you know, have finished chemo and don't have any other, like, medicines that they're taking that would slow hair growth. But still, I'm very proud of my progress. Instead of listening to me ramble on, I'm just gonna show you some videos of what my hair used to look like and what it looks like now. It's been a year. I can't believe it's been an entire year. Um, I'm actually filming this like a little bit after a year, so it's been more than a year and that's just crazy to me to think because last year went by so, so, so slowly and this year has just been flying by. Even though 2020 has like done its thing and it has been insane, this year for me, <laughs> is not as bad as last year. Uh, last year, I was awful. It was it was so much, you know, feeling nauseous, feeling tired, and I still have that because I'm still on a targeted therapy, but it is so much, so not as bad as it was. So not as bad. This hair growth thing is crazy too because like, you know, when I finished chemo, I was completely bald. I was losing my eyebrows. You can see like in the videos, um, I tried to document my eyebrows as well because my eyebrows actually started falling out after chemo ended. I don't know why it took them so long, but it was kind of like the effects of chemo were still like in my system and my eyebrows were still falling out. It kept getting thinner and thinner and then they were like completely out and then like new stuff started growing in and they got like nice and how they used to be and then I started on the targeted therapy and then my eyebrows just started thinning. Now they're just like a lot lighter because on this targeted therapy like it affects my hair growth um, with my eyebrows and like probably all my hair growth. It's probably gonna be sort of something that's unique to me that eyebrows started falling out after chemo and then they came back and then they started getting thin again. So 
that is why that happened in case you were wondering i just wanted to document that for myself i don't want to make this video super long but i do want to point out a few things first um my hair regrowth i guess has been completely natural i haven't been using any like weird like vitamins or i don't know what people use i just been using you know regular shampoo and conditioner and whatever and the other thing is that i haven't really gotten a haircut at all since chemo ended so this is basically like exactly what it would look like if you just like completely just straight up grew your hair out um didn't style it in any way and like cut layers into it or whatever um yeah so if that's helpful <laughs> I did get a tiny, tiny little trim, like eight or ten weeks or something after finishing chemo. I had these like little tiny thin hairs that started growing um, as I was still in chemo treatment. So they were just like still growing a tiny bit. And um, those hairs were a lot longer than the rest of my hairs. And it was just kind of strange that like my hair was so, so short, but there were like these few little like tiny hairs that would stick up so I got like those tiny hairs trimmed um but that is literally all that I did and uh have not styled my hair like since it's got longer than that and I can finally like use a headband and it doesn't look strange I can actually use a headband to pull back like my bangs and it like kind of like flops down a little bit like right now like these pieces are like kind of sticking out but like if I put the headband on and like you know actually did something it would be fine, but <laughs> I'm me, so I do nothing to my hair. I'm very excited about that because it's just so much easier to manage than it was. This is still a really annoying phase because I can't get it into a ponytail. I can try like my hardest to like, get little parts into ponytails, but um, that's not gonna be very helpful because everything just falls out. I know there's so many people that have been a year post chemo and they are able to get like a ponytail up on their head just like a small one but still actually looks good i have not been able to get my hair to look good like that so i'm just using these headbands and you know everyone's different everyone's hair is different so i'm jealous of those people that are able to get their hair in a tiny ponytail and it looks nice but um i know that i can't do that it's gonna take a little bit of time so that is what my hair has looked like since finishing chemo to one year after finishing chemo and that's all thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you, <coughs> if you want to see more of my videos please check them out on my channel and if you think my channel will help anybody someone going through cancer someone who's looking after someone who has cancer someone who has a friend that has cancer please share my channel with them and yeah that's all bye